Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are, we are just finishing up the maize harvest. We've got one field left here. And yeah, we've got sunflowers over there, but they're not ready to harvest yet. And actually we can harvest the sunflower to get chaff and that to get maize, but yeah, I think we're going to stick to our original plans for the sunflower of keep them and make some sunflower oil. It means we've gone and got the fence here. And yeah, I think we are done with the other bunker so plan. We have filled that to the max, so we'll go and just quickly compact in that. But for now, the rest of this will go over here, so... Mind the gate. Because, yeah, what thing I want to do today is... Start doing the root crop harvesting with our new vegetables, so... Yeah, that's going to require some things. But yeah, first of all, let's go and get this emptied, so... There we go. And this time I want to make sure we're all the way back. There we go. So yeah, this will hold, what, about... 500, 600,000 a year, so... Make sure this is just fully compacted from the start. Don't want to go over the top. So I'm not sure if that's going to be counted or not, so... Yeah, so we're going to get this empty here a sec. And there we go, that is 200,000 litres and yeah, apparently we're already 5% compacted. But yeah, let's go and get that roller now. Was it roller or no side compactor? And we can quickly flatten that out to get that up. But yeah, so in between episodes I've just be gone and Finishing off, fin up the other side plant we've got down here. Actually, fair enough, we could have it's down to Stone Bridge Farm and use that instead, but yeah, I thought, heck it, let's use Ooh, the car. Now we're beacons on. Yeah, since we're at the Court Farm, we're coming from the Court Farm area, it makes sense to put it there. And if we ever fail on that, we've got two side clamps to use, so. But yeah, obviously I should just disconnect this because we are going to be grabbing the roll, the side compactor. Oops. Oops, missed the side there. Nothing to see there. Yeah, using these doozies ain't the best option here. Apologies, sir. Yeah, I got interrupted by my dog. What was I saying? Yeah, we've gone and just. Yeah. Gone and got this all compact in that. Fill it to the max, which, yeah, I guess was about 1.5 million litres. And yeah, I could have spent another 85 grams to put another one of these down over there, but having a look, well, it's pretty much fully compacted, so. There we go. Just like a little quick compaction. And yeah, to get these empty in that, I am thinking getting a conveyor up so we can put it into here storage. And yeah, with the root crops in mind, I am thinking about it would be under silos. And it's one of these, so there we go. Root crop storage. So that will hold 800,000 litres of anything, so beets, potatoes, Carrots, parsnip, or beetroot. Oh, yeah, that should be in all that. So, we want it to tip in, and that's the out pipe over there. So, what we can do is put in storage. There we go. And yeah, if I had the money, you could put a second one down. But yeah, we'll see how we'll we manage first of all. Because, yeah, why well, won't crops harvest it? And then go from there and start taking them over to. Uh, what's it? The new area we've got so we can get soup underway. 
Because yeah, if we have a look at our productions tab, so when we put the pellet factory down, we also do have some contracts to do. And I will go and do those. I think I'll spend the day in that to get our money up a bit. So it's all the way down here. And there we go. So yeah, we got the soup factory, got the preserved foods. Um, our potatoes aren't ready yet. Ah, that's why, yeah, I want sunflower oil. So that then we can make potato chips, some cheap crisp. But yeah, it's the soup I want. Still got a bit of straw pets in there, but yes, yeah, mainly preserved foods. And soup I want to do so. Let's get over, finish off the slice work, and then we'll focus on the root crops. There we go, we are done, and as you may have noticed, we did chaff a little bit of that sunflower field, but only did it to practically fill up the trailer because, yeah, as I was doing it, I was like looking at it, like how much it was getting, and yeah, it wasn't really worth it, I don't think, 
compared to the corn in that. Maybe as a video I can do a little test on like what crop gives you the best like maize silage, but anyways, let's have a little look here. So just a reminder, we've got practically 1.5 million litres over there. We've got to cover this, got about 190 actually no, about 200,000 litres because about 195,000 litres in the trader. And then about 3,000 litres of spinach. This is just shy of 400,000 litres, so... 6, so just under 2.1 million litres of silage. Obviously that uh, is similar to what we've done last time when we did the last bit of silage work, but... Again, it's just interesting. It's Again, it's something different, something we haven't really done before much using an actual forge harvester in that. But anyways, it's time for the root crop harvest. So we've got the D-Wolf here. And yes, I know this ain't the fastest way of doing it. However, when I went at first purchase this, I did say I want to showcase the premium expansion. So yeah, that requires a hus using this and like the harvesting speed is what four miles an hour yeah five miles an hour it is so we'll raise a header and obviously with this we don't have a capacity or anything that's why yes I have cheated a little bit of using one of these big bags so pretty much how it works is it'll go on top of here so if I can pop up so you put it here and then as you go on this will just dump out normally but rather than dump it onto the ground it would offload into the big bag here that is a 200,000 year capacity so it's going to be interesting to see. And actually, you know what? I am going to lease a small trader. Uh, no looters? Uh, no. To be honest, I'm thinking just a normal trader, but it's only I have two of these bags, I think. So, we'll be under bell looters. And there's uh, some small bell traders we've got, like something like this. You know, something just adequate, small. So yeah, I'm going to lease that, and I will be doing a cheeky reset with this. Actually no, it's not, because we're going to need to get some more pallets in, so I'm thinking get another one, then we can just swap them out. So we want you, armor capacity, go for red, there we go. So that is doing that. So what I'll do is I'll get a worker on this, go to the dealership, pick that up. So then, yeah, when we come back, we'll just swap it out. So we will be doing, I think that's a carrots field over here. So let's go and have a look. Yes, yeah, so we've got carrots here. Then we'll move on to the red beets, including the mess of the work we did with the mulcher over here. Yeah, like how they've done this like it's not even like perfectly straight but anyways and then we've got the bulk of it which is parsnip so and yes we've got the alfalfa to deal with but honestly alfalfa ain't gonna be profitable at the moment and i want to focus on this well a lot of stuff to do and yeah i want that's why i'm loving this series at the moment i don't want it to end but I think at some point we will have to end this at some point. I know, like, Miss EP has recently finished up his series on this. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do love Miss EP's content. Let's just see what he does with his next map, and... I get why he's been doing it. Oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Okay, back on top, like... If you're a fan of Mississippi's content, you know, combination of personal stuff going on in his life at the moment. 
and just other things than that, which, yeah, makes sense. As well as like, struggling with his schedules with doing mod reviews, map tours, and trying to deal with technically three less plays in one go. Because he, he has Court Farm, he has Alma, and Floor is Lava Charge. So doing three less plays, like, I'll say I'm struggling, but a lot of it is me, again, it comes down to that mental health thing, like, at the moment, I'm in the process of getting my life back together, just with personal-wise, with work, with what I enjoy to do in my life when I'm not working, or while I'm not making content with motorcycles and that, being part of a motorcycle club, and yeah, just general, all that, yeah, that's had its mental impact on me, like not working that last couple of months. And that's why, like, again, the content has been so sparse now, but I want to get back into it. I know it's like when I start making content, I love it, like Court Farm. I can hop on here and just play for hours. But so, like, they maybe get back into some branches with seven. Okay, we're gonna struggle into this field, so. Because we got bang on top, I was going to cheeky cut through here. But yeah, we played Grand Tourist with 7 again. I know I did, what was it, streams on? Yeah, I think it, no, it was the actual videos it was I did on it. That's what I think I may do again. Like, I mean, Ken has sort of like just following from what Missy P says with some of his stuff, like with SnowRunner. He obviously does it because he enjoys playing the game. And might as well make some content out of it whilst he's playing it, so... That's what I may do with me personally, but with Gran Turismo... Okay, we're getting this, is it all loading in? Or is it all just going into the ground, like... So I saw... what was it? I think Miss EP's shown something with this. I, I first saw it with Driver 53, so. Looks like we're getting it. The carrot, so. And obviously, yeah, I'm not doing it correctly. Like, should I at least start off doing it correctly, you know? Like, actually following the furrows. And yeah, you do have to be careful. Let's just get this aligned, so there we go. So we're actually doing this properly. <coughs> oh, she's had a little cough. And there we go, we are filling up with carrots. Is this the most fastest way of doing it? Of course not. There's the Lizard Gloss pack, there's the Homer Terados. 40. There is so many ways of getting this done. And yeah, I know this is going to be a lot of work for us, like an absolute bombshell amount of work. So I'm not looking forward to it, but because yeah, like the Homer Terrados and that, if I just go into our mods and that. It'll be quicker, so we want to be down here. Yeah, the T440. But then it requires like all the different headers, like... 10 grand each, 15 grand. In fairness, I think too bad, and... Yeah, we can go with like the Unreal Capacity stuff. Still may do that, I don't know, but at the moment I'm just drawing it this way. Yes, we're cheating the bit with the big bags. Uh, so just to make sure again we're not losing anything. Yeah, carrots are going in. And at the moment we've got 13,000 litres of carrots. And that is just from this little stretch we're doing. We've got two of these fields to do. Yeah, not equally as big, but 
actually can I hire a worker for this? Looks like we can. There we go. The only problem is this one, if the big bank comes off, like, that's the thing I'm worried about. So, tab over here to the John Deere. Alright, that did not work, so... See, I thought the worker would be doing that, so... Well, unless I didn't set a work on it. I don't think I did. I almost mentioned it, but... Let's try that again. There we go, worker's on its way. Head back over here. Why ain't they be tabbing right? Uh, a little issue there with tabbing. Look, so you want to first start tabbing around. Yeah, I'm pressing left to tab, but it's not hurting me. And yeah, that's going to be an issue as well. It's doing the heads and snap. I think for now. Yeah, I was, I was going to do it this way, like, we've got a lot of work to do, and I'll, I'll, I'll do it properly, you know, find the first correctly. But for now, let's just stick to doing this, so... Let's, yeah, let's get a funnel here. There we go, something like that. May not be the actual funnel, but... Yeah, I'm just like... I'm used at the moment, like, yeah, five miles an hour. But, yeah, I don't mind doing it, so yeah. Uh, fair enough, oh, yeah, I'm tempted to get a second one, because this is going to take absolute forever to do, so. And we've only got, wow, 20 grand left. Where did I spend the money on? Eight grand or so. Uh, yeah, because we was at like 150 grand start of the episode. Where did the money go? Ah, yes, I remember the root crop storage. That was it. I was like, what are we at 21 grand? That is on its own going to have some complications with finances of a second harvester. Because yeah, we will be having a second harvester because. This really can't keep on going on, so... You know what? I'm just going to need to work on that. So let's do its own thing. Yeah, at the moment that is... 30 or so thousand years, so... Yeah, not too bad, but... I am thinking of just leasing out the... Homeward Terrados T440, so... We don't want sugar beet. Um, I'm over match with the carrots for now. Sorry, that a little bit of indigestion there. So, I'm gonna do should you standard or fast? Uh, you know what? Let's do a little bit cheeky and let's go a little bit fast. So, let's go turquoise. So Turquoise there. There we go. And do we want a million litres or a quarter of a mil? I think a quarter of a mil. Bit of remapping, so. There we go. And we were again. Turquoise for everything. What is the hub colour? as the actual wheel hub, so yeah, turquoise and for rims I'm thinking a gloss black, that is nice so that is most of our money and yeah, for the sake of it we will be having a trader So yeah, black and all that other good stuff. 
and there we go. Yeah, because it is just going to be interesting. So, oh yeah, that's why we need to figure out which header is which. And dang it, it's on the other side, so... Nipkit is all set up here a sec, so we'll put that on here. And yeah, you get one, two, even three bags on here. But yeah, I think it's all set up a sec. And then we'll start focus on the harvesting. So, alright, that was a lot longer than planned, but anyways, we are over here now. And uh, yeah, just show off the, the difference. Should we actually get into the field? There we go. And yeah, it's 25 miles an hour and wasp. The other stuff is a little bit cheeky, this one is a bit more so, so take it as you wish, but actually, well, we'll have to work on this, hopefully they don't bin it in the drink. We are going to go back to over here, because I think this one's going to be almost full. Actually, what I am just going to just cheat across here because I want to have a quick look here. So, can we stop this. There we go. Just pop up. So, where are we at the moment? We are at 88,000 years almost. Oh, it's at 81 actually, sorry. So, yeah, I will continue on with this. We'll just reposition this ever so slightly. There we go. But yeah, so we've got the tray over here ready, and we can just simply swap them about. No issues whatsoever. And yeah, let's go and get this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
almost done with the harvesting, so we have done the parsnips and we've done the carrots, so we've gone and filled up the productions already. We still need to do a small little adjustment here with uh, one of them, which is need another 90,000 years for the soap factory. So, yeah, we got carrots and parsnip already, and actually, you know what? Let's start cracking on with those. And I ain't gonna just do normal soups here. I want to do the triple soup. A bit of mixture of carrots, parsnip, and red beans. So, all I need to do is. Oh, what's that header doing over there? Have I got the correct header? So, yeah, beetroot, yeah. So yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go and return some of this stuff. So, go to our miscellaneous. So, yeah, carrots and parsnip. We want to return you. The loaders and all that other stuff we'll keep for the time being. So, yeah, the whole demo thing. Yeah, it's good, it's nice, but just because of the size of the fills we've got. Yeah, the T440 made more sense, and to be fair, that's what I think we should do down the long term, like, sell the D-Wolf, and just purchase the T440, even with all the headers and that. Headers are 10, 15 grand a piece. Try is only a couple of grand. At least 400 grand, so makes the most sense, so we'll start doing down here. Just need to find a way in. I think the entrance is just down here. And then what we'll do is we'll get the 90,000 years loaded up and then sent over. And there it is, gate is here. And hopefully we should have enough room to get in. We've got the big bags down here, we've got the harvester and that, so we've already got 2.3 hours on this. And yeah, this ain't gonna take us that long. We want to go on to the other side. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is go down here. There we go, that's on its way. And then, was it carrots we need? Yep, carrots, so let's get cracking on that. So, we need to fill this to 90,000 litres. I'm going to do love the animation now. I think it like, sounds well that the carrots are falling out. There we go, 90,000 a day or so. We'll go and get this sent over, so I think we'll drive out first of all. And then we'll get the workers to take over the rest of the way, so... Open up PDA. I think, yeah, if we go right, get the worker to go along that route, around like, the countryside and that. But yeah, there's just something that's like alternative routes. That misses a bulk of the traffic in that. So, there we go. So, I want you to go here. So, pick there. There we go. And that's the thing I found with this as well. So, like when you said to the workers, 
does be like a weird, like, just like a slow reverse of move. I don't know why, but. Anyways, I see, you know what we're going to be doing here, so. I think let's just finish off this harvesting. And then let's see what the final outcome is, like how much root crops we've got overall. Because, yeah, actually, the last thing I think I've got to show is how much we've got in storage as well, quickly, before we do another time lapse. So, there we go, have a look here. So, overall, we've got almost 800,000 litres of carrots and almost 500,000 litres of parsnip. So, that parsnip was the bigger field, so. Yeah, carrots yield more compared to parsnip, so yeah. Let's get the rest of this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. done with all the harvesting, hopefully include some screenshots of us completing some contracts because we have been busy. So we're going to complete two contracts now by putting the field beans in and selling them. And yeah, 2200 quid in profit from the extra crop, so there we go. Let's go and complete all those contracts. And let's accept some more, so side contracts, sure. There we go. So yeah, we got on and leased the forest pickup. That's because we did some contracts and got some straw. I think it was like over about 240,000 inches of straw we've got so far. 
and I customize the tra transfer from a class trader to a more of a John Deere vibe. It's just yes, one of the things how it's worked out. Got a lot of John Deere stuff. Tends how it works sometimes, but anyways, what we need to do now is round off the episode here. We've got some wheat, and yeah, I don't know. Actually, I know we don't need all of the wheat, but. What I'm going to be doing with the wheat is take up to where our stuff is at the north of the map. We have our new chickens to pet factory in that. Because we're going to be buying some new chickens. We've got three grand. Hopefully that should be enough for a full group of chickens. Be, there will be three range chickens. Get some eggs. And yeah, compared to our other egg productions at the moment, we do need more eggs. Like keep up with the bakery now. We're constantly running out with eggs at the bakery now, so... And yeah, we do need other things like butter as well, so... We do have some milk. I think we've got about 8,000 litres of milk at the moment, so we can put that into the cookie factory. Get some butter out of it, and then transfer that over. But yeah, we need to keep our production stocked up now. Because, yeah, we do need to get our finances back up. You know, yeah, I said before, we can sell the Harvester Nat, the D-Wolf. Yeah, about 400 grand or so back easily. But I am tempted on keeping that. Like, so I want to do some more root crops, maybe, before we wrap up. Definitely some more red beet, because we do have no extra red beet, I think, in total. In terms of the red beet, got about 640,000 years, give or take. 640, 650. Compared to like, the carrots, which is well over double that. So carrots and parsley got over double that, because carrots have got 800,000 years in storage, and yeah, parsley almost 500,000 years. And our two main productions for the root crops, they hold. Was it, yeah, 400 and, no, 600 in, I think, in total? Actually, we'll have a little look here, so... Go all the way down to the end. So, yeah, 450 and 240, so that is 690,000 euros they'll hold each, so... Yeah, six about 650,000 euros of the red beet. So yeah, it's definitely even more red beet, so everything's has been turned on, we're making soups, we're making shrimp soup, making preserved food and that. And then come October will be time to sort out the potatoes. And yep, with that we can make some crisps, or even potato soup. And I will be storing everything. I'm not going to send them to sell because I'm not going to take, what is it, a 20, 30, 40% cut from it? Hell no, I'd rather keep them. We've got the, what is it, the large warehouse facility, so... Actually, before we need to do that, before we can do them, do we need to pay 10 grand for the year now? Because I don't think we've paid it so far this year. Just because we haven't had the need to for it. Seeing that they've got our straw bells and that, we do put them in storage because look at the weather radar. It is supposed to rain tonight, so yeah, maybe the next episode. But anywho, that we're gonna have anything produced yet, so let's head over to our chickens. So yeah, the feed troughs is where? I think it's here. Do need to turn on the interactive zoom marker. So feed goes in on the side here and here, fair enough. That's our way in. There we go. So yeah, we can hold 500 chickens. I'm just going to buy a bunch. 
So 420 here. And yeah, should have a similar amount here as well. No, that door doesn't open, it's this door here. Oops. Okay. Technically slightly wrong there, but there we go, just gonna whack as much chicken as we can in. So 2,300 quid, so... 282, so... But yeah, as we get more money coming in overnight in that, I will be putting more chickens in. So, come money coming in from just everything we're doing at the moment, like our vegetables and that, our... Yeah, we've got also like apple juice to sell as well. So yeah, they do not hold much. Was that 10,000 years? I'm not guessing this is going to be the same, right? And the answer is... Yeah, so regardless of how much... 10,000 a year, so... I think for now, because rain is on its way... I'm just going to whack this in storage. Do you have any diesel here? Nope. Ah, dang it, we can't buy any diesel yet, but yeah, I should get a shipment of diesel coming in, hopefully. But yeah, we'll do more contracts and that as well in between the episodes, so next time we'll be starting the episode with a bunch of screenshots. And we'll get everything done, we've got the bathing to do. Oh, crap. Crap, that's, that's a bug contract. Yeah, try to do some of these hay contracts as well, but... So yeah, just having a look here. Yeah, 240,000 litres of straw. And I've got an idea to make those into pellets, so... And they won't be involving this, I think. Oh, wait a minute. I did not realise that, actually. Yep, still got over here. Yeah, I completely forgot about that. There we go, just free ourselves. Actually, fair as well, I know we've got the big pad city. Maybe is it worth putting something up here so we don't have to transport it away? Anything will be considered is going to cost at least 10 grand or so, so it might be worth just transporting everything. I don't know, to be honest, but we'll figure something out. So let's go and feed this in. Go. We've got 40,000 years left, so that is another half a month or so. But, anyways, we have Cunty in the episode, so yeah, next time we've got Alfalfa to deal with, we've got Field Prep to do, potentially. Don't know what crops we're going to do next year, maybe some canola, I don't know. And yeah, I'll figure out what we're going to be doing next episode. It's going to be a little bit of a gap now, because. I've been doing some episodes back to back recently, and for one, I want to get the survival challenge finished off. Maybe we've got about five episodes. Also, do a bit more vintage survival that is thriving at the moment. But yeah, I want to say a bit of a gap. I mean, maybe half a week or so. That three, four day gap. But, anyways, as always, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, fair to do. Hope you're going to stay. But for now, this is me from Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.